Hi everyone, so this is just a warning video that this video is very very long, it's like 23 minutes long I think. Me and Emma didn't realise what time it was and we talked a lot and we had, we both had a lot of questions each, I think I had about 25 questions to answer, Emma had a lot of questions so it is a bit of a long winded video and we've had to cut this down and not only is this 23 minutes long but I'm gonna have to do like four episodes because there's more <laughs> so um, just look out for the other episodes on the Q&A and hopefully you enjoy it so give us a comment below and let us know what you think of the video Okay, let's go! <laughs> right, well I am here with Claire Carmichael, student nurse you can find her channel down in the description Oh yeah! Um, and I tell you what <laughs> it's the and first... if you're on my channel you can find Emma's down in the description It's really funny because <laughs> like the f this is the first time that I've been up this end to see Claire I think the last mm. time I saw you was you were in an Ipswich yeah. I think I was, so, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. And the first thing that I saw... Six years ago. Was it really? Yeah. Wow, that's a long time. Was it? No, what? five. Five years ago. 2013. I don't even know. <laughs> it's been too long. I hate you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, <laughs> we decided to get together and do a bit of a Q&A. Yeah. Um, what is this? I've Guys! 25 questions to get through. These are Claire's questions for nursing. That's crazy. We so should do like... Um, <clears throat> Quick fire round. Oh god, no. we're answer. too tired for that. I mean, what time is it now? It's like it's surely got to be like midnight. It's like it, it's half, half past eleven. 11. But all of her questions are on a phone, whereas I'm organised. <laughs> my own post-it notes. But I don't. No. Yeah, see, the minute this happens, <laughs> there, she's just dropped them. She's such a professional. So, but yeah, so you've got the first question, and it says, uh, "What made you start YouTube?" Are you asking me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I first started YouTube because. A lot of reasons to be honest. Um, firstly, when I was looking up nursing, I didn't see any UK based nurses. It was all American and I wanted to do something for UK based people. Also because there's so much negativity around nursing and it's horrendous and I wanted to create a positive spin on nursing and create this nice positive vibe and encourage people into nursing and get people motivated again, bring the passion back to people's hearts. You're doing a good job. I'm trying. <laughs> right. What so, are some of your best moments, top three, you've had since starting streaming? See, that's really difficult. This one is from, well, her name's Inspios Laker. I don't, I call her Insepios because I can't say her bloody name. <laughs> um, but I don't really know. I think it's just, I think one of the top moments has to be, it was all in about the space of a week. And I'm not kidding you, I got raided by three of my favourite YouTubers ever. Like, we had Bassist Dude Raidus, and he now has, like, I think over 6,000 subscribers. And then <clears throat> um, Stat raided us, and he has, like, um, over a quarter of a million um, subscribers. That's and then cool. One Shot Girl, who now has nearly 500,000 subscribers, oh, raided me. <laughs> and, like, 88 people came into the chat. That's so cool. Like, it seriously, mm -hmm. I was just sat there, and I just could not believe it. It was just... When somebody that you look up to as a full-time live streamer recognises you and comes in mm. when you're very, very small. I had less than a thousand subs back then. Like, so we're like, oh yeah, these big YouTubers don't care about us. And then to get raided mm. by her was just insane. That's like, pretty cool. She's, if you don't know her, she's awesome. Check out One Shot Girl on YouTube. She's, and Bassist Dude and Stat. Check them all out. Honestly, they're really good. <laughs> okay, so another one for student nurses. Uh, struggling with presentations to the point of nearly dropping mm. out tips. Do you do them at uni? Yes, is the easy answer to that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> next question. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, um, poster presentations for me are hell. I hate poster presentations as well, so I can fully understand that. And you, you literally, the, the best tip I can give is practice and push yourself to do things that you wouldn't normally do, like public speaking, doing welcome talks um, at the university perhaps. Um, practice in front of friends, family, anything you can do to practice, honestly, it'll completely, not completely take those nerves away, but it will help you be put at ease a little bit, I think. And I can't speak for all of the universities, but as far as I know, every nurse that I've spoke to has had to do a poster presentation at university for nursing, so more than likely you'll probably get one um, and just, just prepare for it is the best tip I can give. Always be prepared, yeah. Always be prepared. You are like the most organised person I've ever met. I am organised. Like seriously, we get along very well, but this just goes to show how unorganised <laughs> I am and how like amazing you are. <laughs> <laughs> Try. <laughs> oh dear, so what okay. we got? 
Uh, I think it's this one with the. This oh, is, what's your biggest phobia? This yeah. is from Squawks. Yeah, Squawks, love you. Um, he is one of my. And Steffi is one of my moderators, and so is Squawks. Um, cool. my biggest phobia. Um, I guess I don't like being restricted. So like anything mm. where like. I'm not. I'm not of. really claustrophobic, but mm. I remember this one time um, at band camp. No, <laughs> <laughs> band I was. Um, I, I lost something under my bed, and I told my brother when he was really little not mm. to sit on the bed because I was pretty much stuck under it anyway. Oh and he sat on it, and everything just came oh. crushing down on me. And I couldn't <laughs> move, like literally. And I was like the Hulk. I literally had to turn my entire <laughs> body around and lift it. I've never seen my brother so scared. Oh my God. I literally power benched. I literally like power benched the bed. <laughs> It's like, I was like going, oh I felt like the bloody hole. <laughs> but like drowning, anything where I'm restricted, like I can't breathe, no. um, and wasps. Literally, no, I no, freaking like hate wasps. wasps. I hate wasps. Okay, so, uh, Claire. Good coping strategies for uni students. How do you deal with stress? Oh, well, it's rare I get stressed. Like, I just, I try and avoid it. <laughs> um, but You get stressed a little bit, but then you just go, right. Wait, what was the first part of the question? Oh, God. Good coping strategies. Okay, so do more of what you love is probably the easiest answer to that because even though the course is intense, if you're doing nursing, paramedic science, any sort of medical profession, it's really <coughs> intense and it can be, it can really get you down. So you need to make time for yourself, for your friends, your family, um, and do things that you really love doing just to distract you. Um, keep you motivated as well. Also, it, like I found getting more involved with the university and doing extra things around university, helping out and things, keeps me really, really motivated. Motiv <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs> keeps me really, really motivated <laughs> and on the ball. So next question for you. Did streaming help you deal with some of your rough times? Yes. Next question. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> See, I've done it now. No, yeah, um, like, I know a lot of you guys that watch my channel especially um, do suffer with sort of your own mental health issues and your mm. own depression. And to be fair, so do I. Like, I have done since I was, like, 19. Um, it's not something I talk openly about. Um, I don't really like to get too much into it because I don't mm. like to bring it into the, into the stream. Um, but I tell you what, playing video games and streaming mm. has literally just made me so happy. Like, every time I'm down, every time I'm having a bad day, I can come in and I can stream and you guys will just be there. Mm. And you're so loving and you're so supportive and you you are one of the best communities. You just make my day. So, <laughs> biggest difference between first and second year and at, pff, academically, did you notice the difference? Good question. So, between... So, in first year, you're level four academically, and then it goes up to level five in um, second year, and then level six in third year. So, so going from first year to second year, um, in second year, it's more critical, so you have to critically analyse everything that you do. Um, that's the biggest difference between first and second year, and they want a lot more in-depth um, structure to assignments and things. And to be honest, I don't think I've noticed it, the jump. Don't but look I, at me, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what <laughs> um, I, I don't. I personally don't think I've noticed the leap, but then, to be honest, I haven't got my results back yet for my first as the assignment for this year. So when I get the results back, I can tell you if <laughs> I've done better or not, I don't know. Biggest leap is that critical analysing, and people really struggle with that, I think, but... There's loads of tips and hints um, if you Google it to help you with it. And have a look at Manchester Phrase Bank as well because that is amazing for writing assignments. But I am going to do a vlog on assignment writing so don't worry too much about that question. Coming next on the Claire Cal Michael channel. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, we've got here, um, Squawks has asked me what's my biggest regret. Um, and then he's asked another one, but Martin underneath that has asked me what would you do if you won the lottery? Now, funnily enough, I'm not no. a person that normally has regrets because the way I see it is the past is the past mm. and at the end of the day you can't go back and change it so why dwell over the past? Mm. Just move on and make make the future better. That's why I seriously believe in. However. However. <laughs> <laughs> I do have one regret in life. Mm. Now, I don't know... I know a lot of you are from America and a lot of you are from um, like sort of Holland and the Netherlands and things. 
But over here in the UK, we're talking, I think, about four years ago when I worked in, in the Monday to Friday job. Mm. We had a football soccer team called Leicester City. <laughs> and Leicester City were about to get relegated from the Premier League, the top, the top of the, you know, top of the league of football, to, to a lower division. And somehow they kind of saved their own ass, And everybody thought, oh, they might win it this year. And the odds were 4,000 to 1. Mm. Now, I was making pretty decent money in this job. And I had a, um, a betting shop five minutes from my house. So, I was going to bet £100. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just click. You yeah. can see where I was going to bet a hundred pounds on Leicester to win the Premiership, oh. and do you know what happened? They won, they won, and I lost out the chance of four hundred grand. Yeah. Four hundred thousand pounds. I can't believe you did that. I know. This is. I don't have regrets except one. I'm quite humble, to be Big fair. Mistake. Yeah, when you're when you're younger, you have all these dreams of having a big house and a big car mm. and lots of. All I want now, being the age that I am, is I'd like a house, I'd like a car, and that's it. And I'd, I'd pro if I won mm. the lottery, I'd probably buy my mum's house for her. I'd pay my mum's mortgage off. Um, I'd buy I'd buy um, I'd buy myself a bigger house. I've got a one bedroom flat. Um, I'd probably buy myself like a three bedroom house. I'd have a guest room and mm. I could have a streaming Game room. room. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then I would buy my flat that I'm in now, and I'd give that to my brother, and I'd pay all his bills. So he would just have to pay for TV and phone Aww. and the internet. I'd pay, like, he wouldn't have to pay for the house. I'd have it up because it would be bought by me mm. and I'd pay his council tax. That's nice. And then if there was enough, I would give every member of my family um, a, a, an amount of money. And I'd probably, like, buy all their houses too. Mm. Like, I, I wouldn't want it for me. Like, I'd make sure that yeah. I had enough that yeah. I didn't have to work anymore yeah. and I could just stream YouTube full time. Um, so I'd make sure I had enough left over to do that but i would give as much as i could to my would you, <laughs> to my family because you know i want to help them out they've helped me out this in my life mm. so i'm pretty i think i'm pretty humble when it comes to that mm. so i'd be the same to yeah so oh, <laughs> I, I don't see it that often like when was the last time we saw each other years ago when was it annabelle no the conjuring. conjuring when the first conjuring came out should oh we tell the story God. no <laughs> <laughs> what story should i not tell claire i don't know <laughs> <laughs> we were in the taxi after the conjuring right that film was scary okay <laughs> <laughs> she I'm, i was terrified <laughs> she was legit terrified of the conjuring it was so funny and we got in the taxi oh to go God. back from the cinema to mine and there was like a, a little bit of like um, orange juice, a carton of orange juice, mm. but it had just enough orange juice left in it that it was weighted perfectly, so it stayed it stayed upright. So when the taxi you took open the door, took a turn, like this bottle just slid across. The, it didn't tip, it didn't tipple or anything or topple. No, it, it just slid across. At the me, at me, it come at me. It was trying to kill me. <laughs> She was so scared she put her feet up on the no, on the taxi no, chair. No. She didn't want to put There's her feet down. There's a photo down. somewhere on Facebook. There is. It's it so is. funny. Anyway, it's sorry. <laughs> I don't see you enough. It's <laughs> a, a long time story. ago. It's hilarious. Okay, so serious. You had to be there. <laughs> it's funny. I might just share the photo now. No. Oh, <laughs> anyway, no. applying to child nursing but questioning it because of watching Twenty Four Hours in A and E. Do you do this? Yeah. Yeah. All the time. No, it's true. So you're applying to child nursing, okay? So but she's questioning it because of basically, that if you if you're genuinely questioning it and you're thinking maybe you want to be an adult nurse instead of child, it's I think it's a it's a lot easier to do. Oh no, because I'm not going to help your situation. It's, it's, <laughs> what were you going to say? See, I'd love like just like whilst you're kind of composing yourself, I would have loved. I think if I'd have done. Um, child nurse and I probably would have enjoyed it way more mm. For, I think it depends who you are yeah because I'm much I more of a big a kid nurse. I'm a big mm. ass kid I know it's sad when they're yeah. really really sick and stuff but here's the thing that I thought like the good days outweigh the bad yeah that's true like the good days make it all worth mm. it no matter how much bad you see you just kind of I'm answering your question why am I answering you your are, question I don't know why you're answering <laughs> my question I think like you've got your own questions <laughs> You, you, I think you, you've got to be able to take it on the chin, haven't you? Yeah. So you answer it, sorry. No, no, <laughs> it's fine. 
<laughs> it's because I'm sorry. Yeah, but you're experienced as well because you've I had know. a lot of health care. Yeah, so that's what it's fine. I can't help myself. Um, <laughs> so basically, I personally think <laughs> that's the professional. A lot easier to do adult nursing first. <laughs> and this is why I stopped myself. <laughs> Because as an adult nurse, apparently you can work in paediatrics as well. See, I didn't know that. And I didn't know that till recently. Um, but I don't know how easy it is going the opposite way round. So you'd have to look into that if you were just genuinely thinking about it. But then also some universities do um, an extra pathway at the end of the course. So you can do an extra 18 months and be dual qualified. So you can be adult and child. Or there are four year courses that you can enroll on and that's adult and child or adult and mental health it's dual qualified yeah and another note on that one whatever field of nursing you decide to go into your your career will just completely change anyway because yeah. i've changed my choices so many times i went into nursing originally thinking i'm going to go back to sexual health and be a sexual health nurse and now i'm thinking actually i want to be a gp nurse i want to work at the university i want to do help students i want to do all these 101 things and my career ambitions and everything that have just gone up a level yeah. since starting so don't assume that where you want to work before you start is where you're going to be when you finish yeah where you can end up yeah yeah <laughs> but it's your choice it's your life if you want to do child nursing do child if you want to do adult do adult only you can make that choice big up mental health but just saying yeah. love mental health what about mental health yeah it's amazing okay. so next question for emma yes who's it from Ooh, Ooh from she's found one martin van wheel ah martin again martin van wheel <laughs> what are your hopes and dreams for yourself and the channel? Oh, good question. That is a um, good question. Here, here's the thing. I I say this to you guys all the time, and it's because it's true. Like, I never thought I'd get, like, 20 people in. Like, I thought I'd probably hit, like, sort of 20 subscribers and that would be it. To have, I think, I think I'm think i sitting on a minute 1,325 mm. in, like, a year and a half of streaming. It's insane to me. Mm. Like, and I get, like, depending on the game that I that I play, I can get from, like, sort of 10 to 40 people in the chat. And it's just, it's just amazing. Like, I do it because I love to game. And I want to show you people that it doesn't matter if you're trash at a video game like mm -hmm. I am. As long as you're having fun, it doesn't matter. Um, but if I could do it full time, then why would I, well, why would I say no to that? What jobs did you have before your degree? How does nursing affect your social... Oh, was that two questions? That's two questions, yeah. What jobs did you have before your degree? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realise that was two questions. I can answer them both. Okay, okay, so... Jobs I had, I've literally probably had every single job there is going, is the easiest answer to that, and the shortest. But I have worked in healthcare for 10 years before starting my I was going to say, because I actually don't know what you've done for a living. You've only from... known me as healthcare, I think. Because I've known you a long time. Because when did you have... Here's my question, just to interrupt. Where's that hat? <laughs> no, you can't ask that question. If you That's guys don't know, the junk. <laughs> if you guys don't know, because this is related, because I want to know how long I've known her for. But like it's ten years ago, was it really? So yeah. basically, when you started this, when you started yeah. this, then because I we we met uh, on on a website, just just some like sort of chat website, and um, she had this sideways profile. Oh, it was a white. I think it was a white tank top. <laughs> no, and it was navy blue and a navy blue hat. Why do I think it was a white tank top with know. a brown like with like and it was like a cowboy hat and it was like <laughs> I saw that <laughs> rude but it was like it was like a cowboy hat and it was just like the coolest thing I was like oh my god I love your hat I'm pretty sure the pictures somewhere on Facebook that was know. literally how a conversation started it was like oh my god I yeah, love your hat I had a cowboy hat navy blue navy blue not white I obviously and I remember it that vest well top. like I don't remember it that well I just remember the that hat was a picture that was taken in Tenerife wow. But that's how I've known this yeah. girl a long time. Yeah, and that, that, so that must have been when you started it then. Yeah. So anyway, back to the question, what jobs did you have So yeah, degree? so I've done 10 years of healthcare in elderly people's homes. Elderly people's homes? Mm -hmm. um, nursing homes, love. Nursing homes for go. the elderly and residential homes for the, the elderly. The professional doesn't even know. Sorry, it's been a long day. <laughs> so, oh no, I've been on the orthopaedic wards. I've been working in sexual health for the last four and a half years. What else? I've worked in loads of healthcare professional places. Before that, I've done a bit of shop work. I've done hospitality. But my favourite job of all was putting labels on gammon all day long. That was your favourite job? 
It's a joke. <laughs> I was going to say, I, was, just I literally like... believed you for a minute. I was like, are you mad? This is my day. I was like, you're crazy. So, so does like nursing affect you? How does your nursing affect your social life? Oh, yeah. So that was the other part of the question, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, to be honest, I have no life. Uh -huh. I have no Even life. Even do I as a streamer, I don't go out. Nope. My life is literally dedicated to nursing. And anyone that follows my social media and stuff can see that is literally all my life revolves around. I agree. Is nursing. <laughs> but it is important to break it up and take the time out, like I said. Like we did and, today. Yeah. And go gaming and do fun things to keep you sane, I think. Yeah. We're going um, back tomorrow to EGX as well, aren't we? But yeah, but um, to be honest, the, the nursing degree itself, I haven't found too bad. You get days off, you've got time to have a life. So, and I, if you look at what I do, I do loads around nursing. That's extra stuff that I don't have to do. I don't get paid for it. So yes, so socially, I don't think it affects my life really. Mm. Next question for Emma. Oh, I know what you're gonna ask. <laughs> this question came up, right? <laughs> before she, I've just seen it. I've, before she asks it, right? This, we, <laughs> we, were, we went to, um, we were gonna go to an after party. Um, this whole we thing went to an after boring. party. Well, we did, yeah, we went to this after party. We didn't really stay, but they had a game. They started off the after party at the EGX um, by doing this thing called Wi-Fi Wars. Oh, it was and so good. It was so funny. Like, it was quite funny because one of the, like, they, they to, to get the points, they asked a yes or no question. Well, they'll see the Wi-Fi wards because we took some videos. Yeah, true. Um, but the Fallout question was like, it, is Fallout good? Yeah. Split the room. It was 50-50. Yeah. But then this question came up. Like, can I just say, <laughs> my answer won, which I she was believe not. It. I don't believe it. <laughs> so come on then, give it to me. Okay, in so. Sepios, it's her, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Pineapple on pizza? No, yes or no, no, <laughs> no. Well, we just had like Big John's. What did you have? I had it? pineapple on my no, pizza. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> but here's the thing: I don't even like pineapple anyway. Uh, no, I know. It's it. not the fact that it's on I pizza. It's the fact that I don't like pineapple. So regardless, you, you could put it on a freaking donut, and I still wouldn't eat it. I love pineapple because I just don't like pineapple. So, how mm. do you cope with a part-time job and study? Will I cope? I kind of just answered that question. Didn't I? I don't know. About the social life, it's kind of oh, the yeah. same. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so... Oh, math question. Um, okay. <laughs> it's Okay, I suppose it's not the same. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend anyone there. It's not the same question. Um, so, yes, ev everybody I know works part-time whilst on this course. The only thing I would be wary of is whilst you're on placement, you can only do a maximum of 48 hours because it's legal requirements of the law. So... Does that include working though? With the placement, yeah. Yeah, so your so you placement do 37 and, and, and a studying. half hours, yeah. So you've only got enough for 10.5 hours. Right. So. So 10.5 hours of work and then the rest of it's study. And then the rest of it's placement. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. But whilst you're at uni, like some weeks you're only at uni for a day, so you can fit in work around then. Um, I've worked all of my annual leave and I worked every weekend whilst I was at uni. And then that covers me for when I'm on placement. So I try not to do shifts when I'm on placement because it's hard. It's tough yeah. work when you're on placement. It's tough work anyway. Yeah, it is. But it is possible and it shouldn't affect you too much. I think it's harder if you've got children. People that struggle are people that have got children because it. it I can't even imagine how hard it must be for those with children. I've just said children about 300 <laughs> times, all in one sentence, sorry. It's hard if you've got what? Children. <laughs> <laughs> Kids! 